Public education is changing. It's changing dramatically. I'm not sure what it's going to look like in the future, but with this program, we really wanted to move Bridge Creek from not just thinking different, but really beginning to do things very differently. We went to OU and OU um, showed us uh, how that program could expand our knowledge. When we set this up, uh, we decided to approach it in a different way than what we normally would in a typical class. Um, we gave them the tools, we gave them the uh, equipment to be able to do it, and we basically were saying to them, figure out how to do it, learn from each other, and ask questions when you can and try to teach us. Right here. Okay, so you had to get your origin in the same place. Well, I don't have another picture. Okay, so you, you had to scroll it out. Scroll it out. All right, now move your origin in that direction where it would be. In STEM class, we were given the problem and we were given SketchUp, and we had to put those two things together on our own and try to figure out how to fix the problem. Okay, do you think you need to get it a little bit taller? Um, I'm, I'm asking you, what do you think? You didn't think it was bad? Okay, so if you don't think it's bad, then try it and see. We're building a model of the school and we are trying our best to actually recreate it in SketchUp, which is you just use lines to make the school and use models and we're all trying to make our own so we can like switch out pieces and make a, and fit them together to make a puzzle, which would be the school. It was really more of a, not so much a project that 3D rendering of a building, but it was more of a project from the idea to working through the ideas to to communicating the ideas to a finished product and then the final presentation with the students and explaining what they learned outside of how to 3D render something or how to layer a picture of a building on top of a 3D model. partnership that I guess you could say we, we created was that it, we we didn't sit down or sit around and talk about just buying more technology setting it out on tables in Bridge Creek Middle School and just hoping that the kids will use it um, but, but especially in the k-12 area we get a lot of um, uh, schools that come in and they they want to do things but they've never just fully committed and said we're going to make this happen we're going to do what it is so when you came to me and said um, we want to do this. Um, within two weeks, I believe you had 40 of those eighth graders show up um, with the teacher who was going to lead the class through this and yourself, and they got to experience the store and understand what the store was about and understand how it integrates into the university culture and the environment of enhancing that student experience. Can, but it's really been the driving force um, from the uh, from. Uh, teacher Mr. Chase all the way to the principal Mr. Ward and, the, and then the students. It's the students who wanted to do this and that's what I'm excited about. We started off with just doing the basic models and working with that which we inevitably got wrong because it's the teacher is very much working along with us. It's not the teacher tells us every single thing we have to do and every single thing and exactly how to do it. 
it's we learn how to do it and with computers that's very important. So you're talking about making computer games, right? That manufacturing part of So, so where do we go from here? We're not sure, but what we, what I've seen is the fact that, especially with, with Bridge Creek Middle School, is that um, I don't think this is a one and done, and that's what I've told everybody, is that, that, that the way I see this going is that once this project is done, we'll move on to the next thing, which what, that may be uh, writing a game on the Oculus Rift glasses, or maybe writing a game to use on Google Liquid Galaxy, or something along those aspects, but it's more along the lines of what the emerging technologies are, knowing that Bridge Creek is behind um, those emerging technologies and saying, we have access to this, and we want to do it with your help and with your guidance, and, and, but at the same time, letting the kids figure it out on their own.